Residents in the Delta are in desperate need of supplies after tornadoes ripped through multiple counties, as you know, leaving behind a trail of destruction. 12 News' Marie Minifield spoke with donors as they were dropping off items at the armory at the state fairgrounds. People generously donated items like water, diapers, food, and more for those left devastated by the severe weather over the weekend. For one woman, she recalls the kindness of others is what got her through a difficult situation. Well, um, my apartment was flooded in 2003, and uh, I had so many people who stepped up to help me out and get me through a hard time. And so anytime there's an opportunity to help out somebody else in a similar situation, I like to do that. Some say it almost doesn't seem real that the entire town of Rolling Fork was leveled by a tornado that is now a pile of rubble. Because I would want somebody to do that for me. Because I'm here to tell you what I've seen on television, I cannot believe what the people are going through in Rolling Fork, in Silver City, and other areas. And it just makes me feel good to do this. And for this woman, giving back was more than just a kind gesture, but an effort to preserve a legacy. Let's see. First of all, um, I guess my husband is from the Delta. He was born in Hollandale, Mississippi, raised in Hollandale. And, you know, he had a lot of friends and a lot of memories up that way in Rolling Fork and all these areas. So, um, of course, he and I wanted to do something, and this sounded like a great thing to do. There are multiple locations around the capital city where donations can be dropped off for tornado victims. In Jackson, Marie Minifield, 12 News.